my name's Nicola Davis and I'm absolutely delighted that this book called Hummingbirds, which I wrote, uh, has been one of the nominees for the Red Clover Book Awards. It has absolutely stunning illustrations. I, I didn't do the beautiful illustrations. They're done by an artist called Jane Ray. Um, now, as you can probably hear, I'm not from America. I'm speaking to you from my home in the far west of Wales in the UK. And it's nighttime here, even though it's daytime with you over in the States. Um, we don't have hummingbirds here, I'm sad to say. Um, so I saw my very, very first hummingbirds when I came to America for the first time when I was 18. Um, I actually came to Canada uh, and I saw my first ruby-throated hummingbird in um, a cemetery in Toronto um, and I was so so excited if I had seen a fairy or a unicorn I couldn't have been more delighted because these little birds as I'm sure you know because you've seen them much more often than I have are full of magic absolutely full of life and a kind of delight that's infectious um, I had got interested in them because when I was a very little girl I got taken to the Natural History Museum in London and in the Natural History Museum there's a big case of sadly stuffed dead hummingbirds but they're still absolutely beautiful and there's a little tree about this big and it's covered with all these different kinds of hummingbirds. And I would stare at this exhibit in the museum when I was a little child, uh, at these beautiful little jewel-like birds uh, and longed to see one. So that day in Toronto, that sunlit spring day, when I saw my very first hummingbird was very, very, very exciting and delight delightful to me and I've since then been lucky enough to see other species of hummingbirds in other parts of America and in Central America. I went to Mexico a couple of years ago um, as part of my work for a conservation organisation and there was a hummingbird nest right outside my hotel room, a little tiny tiny nest the size of a walnut. Um, and while I was researching the book, I came across all these accounts of how people in America welcome the returning hummingbirds uh, when, they, when they work their way up uh, the east coast of America. These little ruby-throated hummingbirds work their way up through the spring and how everybody is completely delighted to see them. Um, and so I really wanted to get over that sense of this little bird bringing moments of utter magic and delight into people's lives. Um, and I hope that's what Jane and I have managed to do with our book. Um, when I was researching the book, one of the lovely, lovely things I found was I found a little cutting from the New York Times. And it said that ruby throated hummingbirds had nested in Central Park for the very first time. Um, and when you read the book, you'll find out exactly why that is so important to the little girl who's at the heart of the story, who's come to live in New York City from her original home in Guatemala in Central America. Just like the hummingbirds, she migrated. Um, thank you so much for listening. I really, really hope you enjoy reading the book and looking at the exquisitely lovely pictures done by Jane Ray. Uh, and thanks so much. Uh, for including me with this. Lots of love to you all from wet and windy West Wales. <laughs>